Steel Toe came on the show. We, we documented this, but just to get everyone caught up. Steel Toe came on his show on Monday after the court papers had been released on Kiwi Farms that showed that April was complaining to Aaron's ex-wife that he was abusive physically to her. And there were screenshots of text conversations and it was very well documented all the different times that April reached out to Ashley and all the things that she said to Ashley and all the things they were communicating about Aaron being a monster, which was her word, and uh, the fact that he was abusive to her. So we watched on Monday when Aaron came on after this had broken over the weekend and Aaron goes, who's believing this bullshit? I mean, these are just made up lies. It's obviously, you know, people who hate me want this to be true, but it's obviously not true. How could it not be true? These are, unless April was setting you up a year ago to, to fuck you up, she wouldn't be sending these text messages to your ex-wife and talking about Yeah, they would be talking about very this. thorough. And I love that Aaron doesn't really offer a good explanation for how any of this happened. He's just like, it's obviously lies. Anyone who knows me knows that that's not me. I don't know, because you asked Johnny Crutches that, and he had nothing to say. Yeah. He literally went to Johnny Crutch. I got a note from uh, our boy Soft Weekly. He goes, yeah, good catch. I was noticing the same thing where Aaron had Johnny Crutches on there on Monday morning to be like, do you know me? You know that I wouldn't do this. And Johnny's like, oh, yeah, I don't know. I'm not really paying attention. Like, had nothing for Aaron. He couldn't even just go along with the obvious. He was leading the witness. It's like, dude, you know what I want you to say right now? Yes. <laughs> Speak yeah. to my character. And Johnny Crutches is just like, yeah, I don't know anything about it. I think it's kind of cool if I don't. I like, did what? gain a little respect for Johnny there. <laughs> yeah, he wasn't going along with yeah. that. He's like, oh, you probably... Well, because... Aaron used to talk about these, what's the term he used? Like drag out, beat him up, fight. I forget the term he uses because I don't have huge arguments and fights with my wife. I'm just not that kind of person. But he used, he used to use these terms. He'd like, We'd have these crazy fights and arguments. It's like, well, okay. And then we're supposed to think that you getting physical is nuts <laughs> when you guys were having these crazy blowouts and fights. Like, huh. I don't know. It seems like, yeah, knockout or knockdown no, drag out. Knockdown yes, drag thank out, you. Yeah. We, that's we that's a knockdown. Weezer song. You love Weezer. <laughs> uh, I don't know that one. We okay. would have these knockdown drag out fights. He would say this all the time. Mm. And then it's like, yeah, and uh, he was abusive towards me too. He had butted me and he squeezed me so hard I couldn't breathe. Well, that's obviously not true. Yeah, you guys I don't are crazy. Know. It's, not a, it's not that much of a stretch. Also, so, if you're an internet personality, starting a sentence with those of you who know me, like, so that's what percentage of people? Less than 1% of your audience? Yes. Yeah. Correct. Right. So he's going to like immediately character witnesses. <laughs> it's like, well, we, there's too many people who watch you every day. So Aaron comes on his show on Wednesday. And it's crazy. I was watching some of this on Patrick Melton's show. What Aaron's show has turned into is three things. There's three main components to Aaron's show now. Obviously, there's the telethon component. It's always asking for money, always trying to make the goal, always asking to contribute money to the show. He has, he has to do that every single day, which is crazy. He reads the chat. He, he just talks to people. Like, he reads what people write to him. I have an example coming up where it's just like, top of the morning to you. And he's like, ah, good morning. <laughs> this isn't a show. What are, you, what are you doing? You know, it'd be like if you were just like picking up every phone call that came in on your radio show. Hey, yeah. what's going on? Not, not too much, man. It's going to be 82 today. I know. It's going to be nice. All right. Take care. All right. Hey, what do you got going on? I'm going to go play golf. Oh, yeah. Cool. I'm going to try to do that this week. All right. See ya. You know, it's just like, what? Is, this isn't a show. This isn't a format. Well, he's got four hours to make $295. So. Yes. Yeah. He's going to go OP on you. And then the third component of this is now, and I think this is very telling, he's constantly calling out the haters. He's constantly talking about the haters, talking about driving the haters crazy, talking about all these W's he's getting. Another win for the toe. So this is how his show starts off on Wednesday. I do. Had an awesome time, though. Thank you for all the messages I've been getting, by the way. I'm going to get back to all the Instagram, Twitters, Facebooks, emails. It's been a shitload of people just saying really nice stuff, and I appreciate it. And that's a weird thing, too, right there. It's just like, by the way, guys, I know you don't see this because you're just reading my chat and us banning everyone who comes in and says mean things about me. <laughs> but all I've been doing is getting all of this outpouring of love and support. You can't even yeah. believe how many people love me out there. Yeah, you'd be bored by it. I won't, I won't yeah. read any of it here. <laughs> yeah, I won't yeah. read any of it. I won't waste your time with that. But 
That's such a weird thing. And I've said on my show before, and I'll say it again right now, because again, I'm traveling. I am so far behind on messages and I apologize. I have DMs piling up on Twitter. I'll get back to you. I promise emails, all these different things, but I never once say, and it's just all love and support for the show. You know, it's just the fact that you think you have to say that tells me that that's not the case. It's a weird thing to say. Like, it's fun to goof on someone if you're like in the chat or maybe you're a creator like we're doing and we're playing clips. But who like email someone just be like, you suck. <laughs> like, <laughs> you know, that'd be a weird thing to email someone. So I would imagine that a lot of the messages you're getting are people who enjoy the show. I don't know. Well, I'm going to get back to him. Oh, Doom is here. I have some Doom clips coming up. He's, he claims that Aaron blocked 600 accounts this week. I believe it. They were on a blocking spree. I know it drove the haters nuts yesterday. We made up for Monday's shortfall, knocked out yesterday right away, and then they didn't like that. When, they didn't like that they, when they would say like vile shit about me. That I would go, guys, I don't need these people. Like ban them. I'm moving onward and upward with my life. Things are going great. <laughs> Remember that the things are going great and he's moving onward and upward because he'll, he'll say some things coming up that make me think that that's not the case at all. So immediately he's going into, wow, we really pissed off the haters. And this is something where he invents what the retractors or the, or the detractors, I should say, the, the people who don't think he does a great show and find his telethon style obnoxious. Uh, so he'll just make up things that bother them. And then that way he can say, look at, I'm bothering these haters. They hate it when we make our goal. And nothing can be further from the truth. I say this to John all the time too. It's like, we want you to make money on the internet. Aaron, we want you to make your goal. Cause if you had to go and get a real job, I'd have to find someone else to talk about. So, and I think that's how everyone feels like whether you're watching it for enjoyment or because it makes you a rage, either way you're watching it. Correct. Um, fuck these people. We don't need them. And then that threw them into a fucking tizzy. Now they're in a tizzy. <laughs> now, remember what he's explaining right now is that like doom said, he blocked everyone this week. Anyone who brought up anything about April spousal abuse, whatever blocked immediately. He's claiming this threw everyone into a tizzy. How so Aaron? The, the thing with, you know, I, it's been known a lot that I'm the best. At <laughs> and the humblest. It's been known a lot that I'm the best. <laughs> That's been known a lot. I'm also funner than everyone. Way more funner. <laughs> and it's also been known a lot that I'm the best. At troll wrangling. At taking care of these people. You might be the worst. <laughs> That's a weird thing to say. At taking care of trolls, they're building up into proportions where you have to block 600 people in a day. <laughs> That's not good, but okay, let's see. Because I know what sets them off. I know what makes them tick. And when you take back control from them, they hate that. Like anybody else with a mental disorder, like anybody else with mental illness, and that's what these people are. They're just mentally ill. They just want to piece you. They just want to touch. They just want to, please, please me. So I took that away from them yesterday, and boy, did they go fucking mental. It's like, there's 9,000 places you can go on the internet to hate me and think I'm the biggest piece of shit ever. Nine There's 9,000 places you can go. I assume this is one of those places at this point. So why were all these trolls angry? They have all these other places to go to hate on Aaron. He, they got blocked from his channel. Why were they in a tizzy? What is, how does that make any <laughs> sense? What, what, why would they, and how would he know they were in a tizzy? They can't talk, communicate to him anymore. I'm confused. 9,000 places. If they can't have me, they can't comprehend going on living. And I love that. It's just, this is just so made up. This is so, this is a cope. I don't use that word very often. This is such a cope. He's going, I blocked them and they have no reason to live now. Because the only thing they look forward mm. to is going in my chat and saying, I headbutted April. Yeah, he brings up suicide a lot. He does. He's not mentally well. You can tell by the way he's talking. This is insane. And uh, we have people who don't like this show sometimes. I see them. I see them out there. 
And I would never think for a second that their only reason for existence is to goof on me or call me names. I know they have other hobbies. I'm pretty sure they all have other hobbies beside that. Or at least other enemies. <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah, I'm on a list somewhere. <laughs> I love that I hold them in the palm of my hands. So, guys... If people cope and seethe about that in the steel in the uh, YouTube chat today, guess what? I'm giving my mods free reign to do whatever the fuck they want. <laughs> now, jokes. Jokes are cool. Fans making jokes. I love that. Uh, J, it, was it JB or BJ? Made a great joke this morning. I thought it was awesome. Somebody was else it? said, headbutt that like button. Because, like, rational, reasonable people know that that's a fucking joke. It's the dumbest, fucking gayest, most untrue, jokiest thing there is. Uh, oh, BJ made the Macarena joke, which I thought was really good. So I say, if it drove them nuts yesterday and they didn't like it, then let's drive them nuts today and do the same thing. Wow, he's got it all figured out, Chris. So what he's going to do, he was blocking all these people yesterday, and he's told his mods today to block a lot more people. Pretty good strategy. I don't know how... I don't know how anyone's going to win versus this strategy. You know, <clears throat> we focus on a lot of people or have over the years. You know, we basically study them. Mm -hmm. And it's not like I don't want to continue to see what happens with this individual. But he's the least fun to because he is he seems sober. <laughs> That's what yes. I discovered. Because Stutcho is just as bad uh, in every regard. Um but he's such a buffoon. Aaron has a way about him th that's missing some of that. And yes. it makes it more infuriating to watch. Just wanted yeah, to point it's, that it's out. Yeah, it's like he should know better. Yeah. Like with, with, with yeah. Suttering John, you're like, oh, this guy's the dumbest guy in the world. And he's got all these personality disorders. The yeah. Dunning Kruger effect. <laughs> he's a narcissist. He's got all this shit going on. You're like, okay, well, that makes sense. That's why it's a perfect specimen. With right. Aaron, I've talked to this guy. It's, it's, he's, a, he's kind of a normal dude. Yep. The way that he's responding to all of this is bonkers. He Insane. should be better than this. Yes. Yeah. He's handling it so poorly. He's making sure that people will continue to rip on him. I mean, there's so many channels now that are cropping up and clip shows and all these people are clipping this stuff. There's an amazing animation I'm going to show you in a little bit. <laughs> and Aaron's bringing all of this on. Yeah. He's forcing everyone's hand on. It's so stupid. But yeah, it's a good point. Watch him seethe. Dr. Silverwolf starting us off today with five bucks. Says, good morning, boss. <laughs> okay, good stuff. <laughs> never, made it, never into the chat. So remember, these are the things that happen on this show. He talks about the haters and how he's winning against the haters. Everything's a W. And then he says, all right, let's talk to the chat. Hey, good morning. Like his, his listeners are boring people, which makes sense. Yeah, it's like two hours in where he gets to a fucking topic. It's crazy. That, that, all he does now is just kill time. Yeah. All of these shows that are looking to raise money during the show are killing time. I mean, Kevin Brennan is the poster boy for it. Now, Kevin has a different style about him. People find it interesting and compelling. But his only goal is to be on the internet for as long as people will give him money while he's on the internet. It's very obvious. Also, I want to point something out because this is bothering me. I don't know if you guys can see this real well. The Stoney's logo right here is so amateur. So when you go in to the O, you see how the O is black in the middle? Yeah. Because it didn't erase that part. It's like a ping <laughs> image where you have to erase all the negative stuff. And it's still got the black part in the middle of the O. Like, fix that, guys. That isn't difficult to fix. I could do it. Send, it by, send, it, <laughs> send me the file. I'll take care of it. I've got bigger it. fish to fry right now. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, good point. All right. Um, all right. So I want to address what he was just talking about at the beginning of that clip where he says, you know, the haters are in a tizzy because they loved it on Monday when we didn't make our goal. But then yesterday we more than made up for it and we're having an amazing week. This week we're just killing it. So I just want to go back to play you what happened at the end of Monday's show because this is the saddest, most pathetic thing you've ever seen. This is how the telethon ends. Every episode, and if he doesn't make the goal, ends like this. This is not like an abnormal thing, but it's bonkers. And again, this is coming from Doom. Put this together for us. Thank you, Doom. He put in a few fun edits, but uh, you'll get the, you get the sense of what's going on here. All right, guys, we are facing the end of today's show. If we don't knock out that 160 in the next six minutes, 
We've got six minutes to go. There's the links in the <laughs> chat. Let's start a rally. Throw in your money. Streamlabs, PayPal, Steel Toe Media Inc. on Venmo, Super Chats, Rumble Rants. We need to do it now, guys. <laughs> I was watching uh, Beat the Hepler today. You need a list of like 50 different things. That you can, <laughs> ways that you can donate to the show. It's ridiculous how many different ways he'll take your money from you. <laughs> And again, Band I want checks. to point out, <laughs> yeah, right? We don't care if they bounce. Send them our way. And I want to point out, Johnny Crutch is here again. Is a worthless co-host. He does nothing during this entire time where Aaron's just begging for money. One sixty is the number. We've been doing great. We hit a snag in the last hour. I want to keep that sixteen show streak alive. I am once again asking for your financial support. One sixty is the number. Let's do it. If you're feeling generous. Throw in a couple of bucks. We'd really appreciate it. Just about to start overtime. Let's make. Let's go ahead and knock this thing out. Five and a half minutes to go. One hundred sixty dollars away. Let's watch that number tick on down with everybody throwing it. Don't wait for someone else to start the rally. <laughs> everybody start rallying at the same time. And we'll so they were talking about. I think it was OJ brought up the point that he sounds like a televangelist yeah. at this point, and then they were calling him a televangelist, which is very funny. Mm -hmm. So this is very much this idea that's just like, all right, guys, we got to get all this money coming in, and I know that we're going to rally. All you guys can't wait to rally this. Don't be the you. You can be the first one. It's okay. You don't wait for other people. As if you're sitting there going, I'll throw in twenty bucks, but only if I hear like four or five other people also throw in twenty bucks. <laughs> this ran. This is all, Aaron. This is you're the only one who cares about this. The viewers of the show are not sitting there going, God, we got to fucking help this guy rally right now. I also wouldn't, Obviously. <laughs> I wouldn't go over the top saying what an amazing week we've been having because that just says, okay, so I don't have to donate anymore, right? Well, also. So you, you have to sound a little desperate every single day. Also, yes. And this is the Monday he came back to deny that he abused his ex-wife, mm -hmm. which he gave zero explanation. No one's buying it. So there's a lot of people who are just like, fuck this guy. I'm not going to give him money. He came on here today to finally fess up about these documents that leaked, and he had nothing? Go fuck yourself. We'll get this thing hammered out in no time. Again, 15-show streak on the line. Holiday week. Let's keep it going. I decided not to do evening shows this week because I figured with the 4th of July week, it was going to be really hard uh, to hit those, and I didn't want to stress myself out. I didn't want to stress you guys out. Anything like that. <laughs> Matt's not... <laughs> What is he talking about yeah. with stressing you guys out? Like, oh shit, is Steel Toe on right now? I got to give him money. He's probably looking for a rally right now. And here I am enjoying my friends and family. <laughs> yeah, living my life. <laughs> yeah, what the fuck? Like here I jerk. am in a cookout. <laughs> yeah, making a hot dog. And Aaron's probably begging for money right now. This is really stressing me out. I'm a out. piece of shit. <laughs> And you, you doesn't look stressed out at all. It's Johnny Crutches over here. He's just lighting up a cigarette. <laughs> doesn't know where he is. Fuck. Doesn't give a fuck about this. Not here this week. But let's go ahead. Let's knock out these three big shows. And I didn't used to watch. I, I never really watched Steel Toe. But um, back when Chad was goofing on him and he started doing the music in order to get the rallies going and to get people to, to donate and uh, the hype train. Oh, yeah. music so he stole that from Aaron so Aaron when he used to do these things would at least have a music bed behind him but Aaron had to stop doing that because he was getting goofed on so now it's just him and his co-host and his co-host is silent so this is the most awkward thing ever the only thing the only content we're hearing is give me money give me money give me money here's how to give me money why are you giving me money I'm not seeing any money where's the money how come there's no money <laughs> I'd really like to see that happen 160 is the number we're five minutes away I don't want to bark. I don't want to bite. I don't want to headbutt. I don't want to do anything like that. I just want to knock out this last Too 160. Soon. I'd like to do <laughs> overtime. So pretty please click the links. Streamlabs, PayPal, Venmo, <laughs> yeah, Super Chats. He also does this thing. I don't know if we've talked about this, but when he makes the goal, he'll do an extra 30 minutes of his show. So you just heard him say, I want to do overtime. If you guys give me $160 in the next five minutes, I'll do overtime. Aaron. You made that rule. <laughs> if you want to do it, you can still do it. No one's going to be like, what the fuck, Karen? These are against the terms. And what's he going to talk about? It's been four hours. Oh, I know. He already does a four-hour show with tons of e-begging and reading comments and killing the haters and Ws. And then it's like, and then we'll do 30 minutes more. It's like, how? 
much of a loser do you have to be yes. to watch this for four Johnny have enough cigarettes for that? <laughs> Rumble rants. Gifted memberships are great. All of it. We got a lot of big stories coming up. We've got, uh, oh, we got a British farmer spraying a guy down with shit for trespassing and protesting his farming. Uh, we've got someone whose pride flag has been stolen five oh. times out of their yard. I mean, I would have stopped putting it up after the second one. Well, with a uh, commentary like that, maybe I should give him 30 bucks. Yeah. I want to hear what else he has to say about this pride flag that was stolen. That's incredible stuff. And a bunch of other stuff. Oh, someone using their COVID relief funds for a Brazilian butt lift because that's important. Nobody cares. <laughs> a lot of stuff coming up during overtime today. Throw in a couple of bucks, please. Streamlabs, PayPal, we got to start a rally. We're 160 away. We've got four minutes left. <laughs> four minutes left. Kill Logic says 160 bucks for those stories. Yeah, I know. He's not helping himself with like not what you're going to get. What you're going to get for this $160. No rally has been started yet, and we're four minutes away. This uh -oh. is looking bad. Yeah. 160 bucks is the number. Embarrassing, you might All say. All the links right there in the chat. Let me put them up again. Boom. There we go. Let's go ahead and knock this thing out. I don't want to see this B&L. I know it's a holiday week, but uh, please and thank you on that 160. Three and a half minutes to go. <laughs> oh, no. Now we're oh. getting down to half minutes. If he doesn't he's make counting it, down the clock. Will he try and squeeze some tears out like when he's talking about April? Oh, I love it when he does that. <laughs> um, I got to give credit to Kevin, Eric Snell, and Jody B in uh, Discord and YouTube. There's so much dark side fill going on here. DSP, a guy we covered a month or two ago, was just constantly begging. Like, dark side fill is a little more pathetic because he needs to, like, pay his electric bill and shit. But it's so or he bad. goes dark. <laughs> And, you know, Missy B's in here. She's like, isn't this the guy who claimed to have ripped off his act from Anthony? Yes. When he was talking to you on Chrissy's show, he said that. I don't remember Anthony ever begging for money. I've, I've never heard this part of the Anthony Cubia show or Opie and Anthony or anything else I've seen him do. Weird. And no rally has started yet. Who wants to be the first one to fire it off? <laughs> Not it. Oh, fuck, man. <laughs> This is bad news. <laughs> yeah. 160 away and uh, about three minutes left. This reminds me of um, what are those auctioneers? Mm -hmm. back. All right. I have a dollar. I don't 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 have two dollars. I don't have a dollar. 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 All right. Not so old. It just never changes. I actually have that. Oh, <laughs> That's what this is. That's perfect. So for a buck. <laughs> Producer Chris earning his paycheck today. Fine. Knock this thing out. Uh, if you'd like to contribute, go ahead and contribute. 160 is the number. This is looking pretty flat. Three minutes away. All right, Johnny, during this the is holiday where, uh, week. This Maybe is where we you should jump taking in. the week off. Well, no, I wanted to address that horse shit today, but other than that, gee, that's probably not helping you. <laughs> when, when you hear your two ex wives commiserating on what a piece of shit you are, and he's like, I just wanted to address that horse shit. Well, that's very likely true. <laughs> it's, it's in a court document. Jesus Christ, it was looking good. But uh, guys, two and a half minutes. If you're feeling generous, if you got a little extra to throw at us, boy, do we need it right now. Come on, boys and girls. Let's do this thing. Help us out a little bit. Help out the old toe. Two and a half minutes left, 160 away. We have gotten literally zero. Yeah, I could do the math. During this rally period. <laughs> yep, I can tell. From yeah. 160 to 160, that's two zero. Two minutes and 15 seconds. <laughs> now we're that's on the quarter. The longest quarter minutes. Five minutes. <laughs> This is worse than that soccer. we've endured thus far. <laughs> How dare you? Uh, <laughs> oh, they're going to add five minutes. Again, Fuck. still 160. <laughs> again, still nothing doing. Jesus Ooh, if you hate Steel Toe, you fucking love this. You think this is a great start to the week. <laughs> <laughs> well, at least Charles Manson's into it. <laughs> All right, guys. Two-minute warning. 160 bucks. Please chip in. Please go to that PayPal, that Streamlabs, that Super Chat, whatever. There's the links again. Click it, rally, get inside a 50 so we can buy ourselves a little time. A minute and a half to go. 
Oh, boy. Nothing. Not a fucking thing. <laughs> wow. Lander says, Ayo. <laughs> Not good. Not very good right now. Um, I don't get it. People love when they're begged for money. Constantly. Why are they giving me some money every, right now? Every time they tune in. Jesus. This, someone's got to create Aaron on a street corner, just at an intersection, begging people for money. All right, man, 160 to the goal. 160 to the goal. Hey, you got some money? Okay, no money there. Hey, 160 to the goal. He's got a sign up that says 160 to the goal. What Minute and could, a half to go. What if we could throw a rolled change at him? Oh, then, yeah. <laughs> yeah. That <I'd> <laughs> sounds fun. Oh. And nothing coming in. Although I'd probably throw 50 cents at a time. 160 is the number. Apparently, we did a dog shit job today. <laughs> oh, man. Sorry about the bad show, boys and girls. But if you hate Steel Toe, this has been a great weekend and a great start to the week for you. So I'm glad we could get you that. <laughs> <laughs> God, I don't hate Steel Dow. I just think you probably abused your wife because it came out that you did. And I think you're handling it very poorly. And it is very annoying that you beg for money. This is the thing. It's like, we're supposed to pay him every episode that we enjoy? I don't know any other model like that. I mean, even with like YouTube TV or your cable bill, like you're paying a lot. We don't have to do it every fucking day. Like, imagine if you had to pay that every day. You'd be like, you know what? I don't need to watch fucking YouTube TV right. anymore. I'm, I'm good. I only feel like a sucker once a month. <laughs> right. We've got a minute and change left. And nobody throwing in anything. <laughs> Here comes the shame. During this big period. Well, I hope you guys watched. Not even you, Leo Gunn. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> not the legend. Not Clay Dabla. <laughs> not even April. Johnny's sh- <laughs> show today i'm glad i'm taking tonight off if you're listening to this show like a lot of people do and they're not watching it i promise you his co-host is there on screen with a microphone in front of his face this entire time he has not offered anything yeah, this for this poor guy Penn and teller's worst <laughs> trick <laughs> <laughs> this was a fucking bummer um, you guys we got Jesus. about we got a little less than a minute to knock this thing out to help out a little. And we got nothing. Okay. We got 35 seconds. All right. We'll run this thing down. Uh, we'll say goodbye. Uh, we'll get a half hour off to start the week, I guess. And uh, yeah, see where it goes from it. there. Joe Smash with 10 bucks. Thank Whoa. you very much, Joe Smash, for the 10 spot. Thank you. Down to 150. Uh, we take seven of that. 155 oh. away. <laughs> oh, Jesus. The guy doing 10 bucks. He brings it to 155. What an <laughs> asshole. <laughs> from today 155 <laughs> bucks away from knocking this thing out thanks joe smash i didn't realize that the goal was set at net terms i, th- I thought we were <laughs> just gonna gr- you know just gross it up so that we all understand how we're trying to do this for you we appreciate you trying to rally up for us but nothing else 10 9 8 camo girl with five bucks says start it off all right 150 away somebody drops in 100 quick Wait. we can keep this thing going Whoa, 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 10 bucks is worth five, and then five bucks is worth five? Uh, I don't, I don't get this. I'm not understanding this at all, but all right, now he's saying, you just heard him say, all right, we need 150, but if someone gives me 100, I'll keep going. All right, so now, now he's negotiating with the audience on this one. One for a half hour. Five, four, three, two, and one. Happy New Year. Jesus. <laughs> It's so much more fun when he doesn't make the goal. People are going to realize this. And they're going to be like, oh, sweet. This is how the show ends every day. This is fun. We got our fucking shit pushed in today, boys and girls. All right, let me do this. Oh, he's got a streak of 15 shows. He's erasing let me, uh, it. Let me erase the streak. I'll hit refresh on everything once more just to make sure we didn't do it. <laughs> and fingers crossed. All right. Well, turns out we didn't do it. Yeah, yeah it turns go. out Mike Boudet is not there with a thousand dollars for me. Ah, oh, darn it! Didn't happen. <laughs> <sighs> so I had to play that for you because he comes out on Wednesday. That was the way Monday show ended. He comes out on Wednesday. and goes, ah, Tuesday made up for Monday, so we're winning. <laughs> it's all W's over here. The haters hate it. It's like it's amazing how this guy can spin anything, and he's on top. All right, so let's go to the other part of the show, which is just reading boring chats 
and he's on Rumble and YouTube. So he likes to go over to the Rumble chat, where I guess there's probably fewer people, so people don't see that what the chat's happening. So then he can read us the chats that we're missing if we're watching it on YouTube, which is a... I should start doing that. You know, we do this show live in our Discord server if you want to listen to it, or on YouTube if you subscribe to the show. You can check out the show live in two different places. And I'm monitoring the chat in both places, but you know what I don't do enough is tell the YouTube people what Discord is saying and then tell Discord what YouTube is saying. Because the people are missing out on, on what people are saying as we're doing the show. <laughs> Fortunately, our buddy Aaron does this service for his audience. All right, let's go to uh, let's go to the audience here on Rumble. Mr. Beat says top of the morning to you. Uh, you got this. <laughs> top of the morning to you. You got this. He felt he needed to read that to us. Cool. Cool stuff. Feel better, Soper. I think he means sober. Thanks, buddy. Uh, it's going to be a good day. It's going to be a great day, man. Kids and I are going to the lake. We're going to h- hang out at the cabin. I think we're going to stay there today, uh, tonight. Because like here in Minnesota, it's the only nice day we're getting for the 4th of July weekend. Like It's all rain the rest no of the weekend. No one told me there was going <laughs> to be so boasting. The kids and I will go to the cabin. We'll hang gonna out shoot with another family. awkward we'll video. Yeah, this is insane. This is the most boring man on the internet. The guy goes, oh, today's going to be a good day. He's like, oh, yeah, it is going to be a good day. I'm going to go do stuff. Yeah, we are. Mm-hmm. Everyone's going to go do stuff, Aaron. This is not unique. This is not impressive. I'm going to take my kids. We're going to go places and do stuff. Yeah, okay, cool. Gives a shit. And then uh, the rest of this weekend, shit, man. If it's going to rain the whole time, this. Oh, all right, let's, let's see if it can be even more boring. Let's figure out the most boring thing Aaron can communicate to us on his show right now. And go. Sounds like a very 1950s housewife thing of me to say, but I think I'm just going to stay in and clean and get caught up on the house. Mm. Oh, you better IRL stream that. Yeah. <laughs> I really want to see you. Tell us about your cleaning products. <laughs> Gives a shit. I mean, I hate to be the coolest fucking guy in the world right in front of you like this, but... Uh, Eh, I if it's just gonna rain the whole time, why not? Not gonna be able to sneak golf in, I don't think. Isn't that heartbreaking? Oh boy. Okay, so we've gone from uh, what he's gonna do later <clears throat> to the weather report, and now talking about golf. Is this guy trying to be rich? Boss? I was just gonna say we're circling back to fucking. <laughs> my wife hates me. <laughs> the fuck. Isn't that the worst? I'm not gonna be able to go. I haven't golfed in over three weeks. <sighs> over. It's, it's gonna be four it. weeks. Gives a shit, Aaron. This is the thing. No one finds you as interesting as you find you. Aaron really thinks that he's this e-celeb. This guy that everyone's just like, what's his life like? He went golfing four weeks ago. I wonder what he shot that day. We don't care. You're not famous. You're not interesting. You're not an interesting person. And even if you were, this would prove that you're not. That's the worst part about it. The dude's in his mid-30s too, right? He's 37. Oh, okay. He's almost 40. Yeah. He's, 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 he's already like a retired man. Yeah. He's already a drip. <laughs> if this guy was my friend, I would never answer the phone. You know <laughs> well, what I mean? Like, he... oh, shit. What's he want to talk about? Golf or the weather? <laughs> Cleaning the house? Wordle. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'll talk Wordle. <laughs> it took me five today. Uh, Fuck it. Anyway. Yeah, I did it five. I don't want to. I don't want to <laughs> give it out to anyone who hasn't done their Wordle yet. It was. Oh. All right. Uh, what you got to do, though, is you got to ignore the people who are talking all the shit out there. League says, Sector Aaron, you're so far above people shit talking in the chat. Oil the steel toe machine and ignore people talking shit. Do it again. When it comes to troll wrangling, the best thing you can do is not give them what they want and watch them go fucking crazy. And by the way, you know what else gets them, boys and girls? Knocking out the goals. 295 is the number today. You guys went way over yesterday. You guys fucking crushed it. Thank you so much. Again, Aaron, we're not concerned. It's very funny when you don't make the goal. Don't get me wrong. We find that amusing (laughs) when you're begging for money for six minutes straight. It's great. But no one cares if you are making money. Like We do appreciate that you have a reason to turn on your webcam every day. It's funny to us that you do this. You're embarrassing yourself, and we appreciate it. 295 is today's number. We've also been knocking the gold down by about 20, 30 bucks a day on our own because the numbers are starting to come in and we're doing all right. So uh, we dropped it a little bit for you by about 30 today. This is insane. 
So he comes up with this arbitrary number, what the goal is, it's 350 a day, and then it changes certain days. And he's doing that to do us a favor. Yeah. You see, producer Chris, how nice of it, of him, to knock it down by 30 bucks yesterday. He doesn't raise as much money, we still get the same amount of entertainment? It's amazing. Well, it is nice. But <laughs> personally, very, I, very generous. I was thinking if I made 300 in four hours at 75 bucks an hour mm -hmm. uh doing what he's doing i would rather not have the money yep and go do something fun for four hours instead of either lying to the audience or boring the shit out of them begging right what's what's the dollar amount that you would need in order to embarrass yourself on a daily basis on the internet because i don't think i could come up with one mm. <laughs> it would be, be a lot be fucking fuck, more than this it has to be some fuck you money because yeah. I, I would have to disappear after that. Yeah, right. Yeah, take a year <laughs> off to uh, reestablish. That's, that's, the, that's the weird thing about him and Stuttering John. You're like, yeah, I'm making a lot of money. Yeah, but it, you're embarrassing yourself. Like, be dignified. <laughs> go get a go get a job at a fast food restaurant. Fifteen bucks an hour. You can't beat it. And in California, it's even more. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> All right. This is interesting because. Uh, Aaron brings something up here, and when I was saying before that his life's never been better and things are going so great, he says something here that makes me go, well, I'm not sure if that's true. I haven't watched that one, but I've heard from fans who love this fucking show. They're like, yeah, it's mean, but that's like the point of it. He's Okay, so what he's talking about is Podcasters Illustrated. There's this guy who makes cartoons out of podcast segments, and they've been featuring Aaron in April. In some of these, they also have like Joe Rogan and Joey Diaz and, you know, big podcasters, uh, Bobby Lee, but they've been working in this guy and his ex-wife. And so they're like, Hey, you should check it out. It's pretty good. And he's like, yeah, no, it is pretty good. I like being goofed on. Okay. <laughs> sure. Like making fun of you, but it's really funny. So maybe I'll watch it. Maybe I won't. I'll be honest with you. I'm in a great spot today. Like I'm in a good, good place. So I don't know if I want to watch something that brings me back to the thing that destroyed my life. All right. Let me ask you a question, producer Chris. Yeah, man. You're a pretty logical guy. I've had a lot of logical conversations. Can you say you're in a great place and that something happened that destroyed your life? Can both of those things be true? I, I don't the, think so. The definition so. of destroying your life is that your life is not good anymore. You destroyed right. it. Right. Yeah, I wouldn't like, put those be bumps two in the road. together. <laughs> yeah, I would. Put, you know what I mean? You, you can't just be like, guys, I'm killing it. I've never felt better. My therapist says I'm the best <laughs> patient he talks to every day. And uh, I don't want to watch that because it reminds me of that time I ruined my life. It sounds like the kind of thing you'd say hammered at a bar just yes. before closing time. Yeah, everything's great, man. I fucking ruined my life. <laughs> <laughs> it's an emotional roller coaster that he's going through. Yeah. But, uh, <laughs> eh. Maybe it's a good test to see if you're okay. No, I know better than that. Uh, there was also some Ricada news overnight that people were writing me about. Guys, I'm really in one of those there, but for the grace of God, go I moods. <laughs> Wait, what? Yeah. This is the guy who was ratting out everyone for their drug use and everything else they were doing. He's the one who told on them. He's the tattletale. And now he's like, I guess there's more information out there, but you know, I'm not really interested in that anymore. Why? Since the information that came out about you that makes you look like a piece of shit, now all of a sudden you don't care about information coming out of the internet? Now that that stage is over, I'm all <laughs> Yeah, I'm above that. We should all be above that now, guys. Let's stop reading court documents and things yeah. like that. We don't need to. And it's like, we've... I'm over the anger stage of grief. And then that's, let's be honest, that's what... You know, it, it started with me wanting to come clean and bear my soul, and I did that, and I was so happy that I told the truth and and did all that stuff and told the truth anytime anything came out. I'm so yeah. happy that I just faced that shit head on. Oh, he made a weird gesture right there when he goes, and told the truth when anything, like he couldn't even look at himself. He had to look away to the wall. You know, I'm so happy I told the truth. I tell the truth all the time. Everything I do is telling the truth all the time. <laughs> Obviously, you're lying about this latest thing, but okay. I know it frustrates people who hate me because they want me to run and hide from it. I don't. I address it honestly. You're lying. You were dishonest with everyone for months, many months, and then all of a sudden you came out with that bombshell that, that <laughs> threw me for a loop. The only ah, one April who, and I are getting divorced. The only what? one who believed in you was Carl. <laughs> I know. I'm the only one who still had faith in this guy. Like an idiot. He, he, he taught me that day. So... 
Now he's going, yeah, I'm so glad I'm the only one who's honest about all this shit. You're not. You were honest when you wanted to get revenge. And this is really what it comes down to. Aaron decided, I'm going to get revenge on these assholes. So I'm going to start leaking information. I'm going to say I used to do Coke. And I used to do Molly. And some people are still doing those things. Too much, in my opinion. But I don't know. Who am I? And then it turns out that was all just to get revenge on these people. And it worked. And he's all happy. They got arrested. And I don't think the Ricades still have their kids. I don't know what's going on. But he's very excited about all of this. And now he's like, guys, I win that round. Let's stop reading the internet now. I don't think anyone has to, No more information has to come out about anything. We're good. We got it. <laughs> And we move on. And that's why we've had we've gained so many fans. There's a sincerity to this show that haters don't like. And it's also not the narrative they want. So they get mad about it. Again, I can't help you. Oh, I hate this. This is my least favorite version of Aaron, where he puts words into people's mouths and thoughts into people's heads. And he goes, and listen, I know that's what you want, but it's not going to happen, buddy. It's not what anyone wants. You're making all of this up in order to win this ridiculous made up thing that you're doing right now. I cannot help you. There's a million places you can go to see about that. You know, I'm sorry that I don't let you do it here. And I'm sorry that drives you nuts, but you're treating me like I'm your E daddy. And it's really fucking creepy. Well, if you weren't E begging E daddy. <laughs> yeah, right. What is he talking about? Like our E daddy. That would be like someone that we look up to and respect. It's like, when you talk about, like, you're treating me like I'm a father figure to you, that would mean, like, you look to them for guidance. You're interested in what they have to say. Dick Masterson has brought this up a lot where he's, like, the, the dad of the Internet. And he has, you know, younger people follow him and want to emulate him. Aaron's the opposite of that. Saying that he's the E-daddy? No, 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 no. You're an E-punching bag, <laughs> you dummy. It's a very different thing. So... I wanted to show you some of this uh, podcasters illustrated. This is what he was referring to the latest episode. This is really fantastic. I didn't know about this. So I feel like I was out of the loop, but this is them actual audio from steel toe show, but with uh, animation that shows steel toe and April getting pulled over by the police in this clip. I think in the middle of Wisconsin, <laughs> <laughs> April's animation is great. All right, so is your name Aaron? My name is Aaron. All right, and you're the host, or what? Or uh, you were the host. So that sounds like Bubba the Love Sponge, I'm pretty sure. This sounds like Bubba with Aaron on a show. Of the Central Minnesota Morning Show, correct? Yeah, the Steel Toe Morning Show uh, was and is, yeah, mine. Correct. Okay. Hosted by uh, you, Aaron. Yeah, and, and you would probably were considered kind of the shock jock of the community, so to speak. I've kind of watched a little bit of your stuff, and it, you know, it's uh, it's it's Bubba Howard, man cow ish kind of. Am I kind of right? Uh, I don't know what's going on. <laughs> so, so this is crazy. So now the so that was the cop talking to Aaron in the pulled over car. Now the two police are away from the car talking to each other. And this is Brian Johnson when he was on Who Are These Podcasts with Doug from Who's Right reviewing Steel Toe. Steel Toe, from what I see, he wants to be stern. <laughs> he wants to be Anthony with the shock jockery and all that. You watch Steel Toe and my <laughs> feeling is objectively, it sucks. <laughs> so they, they were doing a story recently about a cow who won in a state fair and the cow had a very offensive name. Uh, for black people, not the N word. It was the J word, okay. and uh, and April seemed to think there was absolutely no problem with that. She's like, "What? It's cute. Like, <laughs> like, like, really? Like, it was weird." So that was awesome to hear, Doug and uh, Brian. Let's go ahead and get ready for what you boys and girls paid for, which is. All right. So now the cops are pulling up the show, and this is the episode where April puts no, in her you don't, bikini you don't, on. I mean, you were the one who said you would. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> is this okay? Oh, my Lord. Oh, this she's is showing the, the cardinal tattoo. Oh, that is. What do you mean? That is it's just a scar. Right. Oh, yeah, it's just a big scar. This is a really big scar from some really sexy guy in Texas. Just. 
<laughs> two artists. All right, y'all paid for it. I went with a classic black one with a not classic bottom. Oh my God. Helgi says do a full turn. Yeah, see, they're not. They're never going to be satisfied. Do a full turn? I don't know. Knock out tomorrow's goal and I'll turn around for 30 <laughs> seconds. Is this anyway? So that's just a portion of this cartoon, but it really is fantastic. The animation is great, and the clips they pull are very funny. So, props to Podcasters Illustrated, which only has 1.2 thousand subscribers. So, get on that subscribe. We gotta knock this out. out. We gotta <laughs> knock this out. All right, so maybe someone here can help me. I don't know what this is, but you know, you just heard Aaron talking about how more documents came out. And again, all of a sudden, Aaron doesn't care about the Ricadas and embarrassing stuff coming out for some reason. Addiction's a bitch, you know? So this new document that came out, people wanted me to comment on it. First of all, it's from like, there's shit in there from fucking years ago. And that... People change. Uh, okay. The That's very defense. telling. <laughs> that is very telling right there because, yes, you see where he's like, well, you know, people change like I did. You know, 10 months ago, I was beating up my wife, but now I don't do that anymore. People change. So you just got to remember that if it's like more than like, well, how long ago were they doing drugs? Two months ago. It was more than two months ago. Then you can get upset about it. But over two months, like, that's fine. They're probably a different person at this point. You know? And things change. And, uh, you know, if it's something that came out that happened a couple weeks ago or a month or two ago, that's different. That's totally different. If it's a new update, be happy to talk about it. But you know the internet. The internet likes a pile-on. And I engaged in it. Didn't make me feel better. That's the one thing I would tell people. If you go on the internet and you're like, hey, pile-on time. I can tell you from experience, last Friday I had an epiphany where I went, none of this is making me feel better. Last Friday. The day the court documents came out that he's a piece of shit who physically abused his wife. He's like, you know, I had an epiphany that like reading all this gossip on the internet and then commenting on it and calling people out. It's not even fun. It doesn't I even make you feel good about yourself. Suddenly want to change. Yeah. Isn't that incredible how that worked out? The timing is impeccable. Wow. Like temporarily it does. You get that euphoric rush of like judging someone. What a crazy thing to say. <laughs> you get a euphoric rush of judging someone. Yeah, you're right. Was he that the is Catholic telling. Church? What the <laughs> fuck? That's insane. So, all right. Who are these podcasts? W-A-T.